Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Poison. This is gonna be video number three, and today we're talking about filters. So in Poison, the filter, the oscillators are already routed to the filter, so there's no extra step you have to do. And the filters are gonna be located in this box that says filter on it. So let's go to options, and then let's reset the program just to get our saw wave here. So on the first, we have our standard cutoff. It's gonna cut off the high frequencies to the low, if we're in low pass, that is. And we have our resonance. And then next up, we have the key tracking. So if this is all the way up, basically the filter is going to follow what notes you play. So a lower note, the cutoff point is gonna move a little bit lower, and then the higher notes you're gonna play, that cutoff point is gonna move higher. So if we brought this down, let's say one octave here. And we have keyboard tracking on. Let's crank some resonance to see this a little better. We're kind of looking up here in the spectrograph. So as you can see, as I was just saying notes, this is kind of going down following the notes that I'm pressing. So that's kind of cool to have that. I kind of do like keyboard tracking because it almost makes it feel a little bit organic, but it's definitely up to your patch. And then next up we have velocity tracking. So it's basically changing the way the filter functions based on the velocity of the notes that we're hitting. So that can also add a little bit more humanism or realism to it as well. So play with that to taste. And over here on the right, we have our different types of filters. So our low pass, what we were talking about before, uh, let's do an init preset again here. So we have our cutoff, and then if we change this to band pass, it's going to kind of choose. And we can see here on the EQ where it's going at as well. And that resonance is going to kind of change the sharpness of that. So a very interesting sound, especially because no filters are really exactly the same. Every synth, their filters are kind of a very important spot of, of the synth itself. So that's cool with this one. It has a very unique kind of bandpass sound to it, I think. And then moving on, we have the high pass, which is just the opposite of the low pass. So a lot of cool different stuff you can uh, mess around with this. So that's the filter section in a nutshell. Feel free to get lost in that. And also keep in mind that these different filter types are automatable. So if you right click this and create an automation clip, you can choose at what point in time the filter changes in your song. So don't feel like you're stuck to one filter for the entire song. But uh, as some advice to that, if you do automate these filters, make sure that your automation clip is in a hold position. And I think all the way at the bottom is low pass, and then in the middle is band pass, and the top is high pass. I think that's what it is. So make sure it's not like a, a line that's like ramping up, so it's not, so it doesn't get confused. That is, so just something to think about. So that about wraps up this video, and we'll see you in the next one.